Welcome to A Bill A Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifke. Now, every year, usually in mid to late December, Congress enacts a military funding package called the National Defense Authorization Act, or the NDAA. Congress has now enacted it for 63 straight years. That's despite having to override six presidential vetoes during that period including one each from Presidents Barack Obama and Donald Trump. Now, for months, it looked like President Joe Biden might veto this year's 2023 version as well. See, the Republican-led House passed a version back in July, which would have blocked taxpayer funding for female service members' travel to obtain abortions and medical treatment for transgender troops. But the Democratic-led Senate stripped those provisions Ultimately, the compromise version passed the Senate with 87% support and the House with 72%. The final cost came in at $886 billion, a new record, and up 3% from last year. Now, opponents criticize that as exorbitant, noting that the U.S. spends more on defense than the next 10 countries combined, including both China and Russia. Well. Here is a song parody about this year's NDAA bill to the tune of the disco classic by the village people, YMCA. Drop that beat. Oh yeah. When the military needs cash and they're running, Low on what's in their stash, it won't come to them as fast as the flash. It takes months of negotiations. The House passed it back in July, then the Senate said that version won't fly. It took until mid-December to find a bill that could pass both chambers. They had to work out the NDAA. They had to work out the NDAA. Increase pay for the troops, more funding for Ukraine. Seems the Pentagon can't complain about the state of the NDAA. Congress enacted the NDAA. $886 billion, you know. That's like Era's tour level dough going straight into the NDAA, going straight into the NDAA. Probably should have done some arm motions. <laughs>